one does not simply walk into Mordor. The Land of Shadow. Hey, welcome everybody. In today's Shadowcast, I'm going to be introducing a new category of dark creature to be shown here on the Land of Shadow YouTube channel, the Brazen Beasts of Middle-Earth. Uh, in this Shadowcast, I'll be sharing my thoughts on what the Brazen Beasts are and why I created this category for the creatures of Middle-Earth. In addition, you'll have the chance to vote for your choice of the first Brazen Beast video shown here on the Land of Shadow. We'll do that at the end of this Shadowcast. Uh, so let's go ahead and explore the Brazen Bestiary and discover these dark creatures ever apt to evil in Middle-earth. So what exactly is a brazen beast? The term brazen is defined this way in the Oxford Dictionary. It states, To be brazen is to walk openly without shame about something shocking or shameful. Tolkien uses the word brazen often in the Lord of the Rings trilogy when describing the behavior or demeanor of those that serve the dark powers. Here in the land of shadow.com, we wanted to differentiate between the servants of Sauron and the beasts in his service. The most basic differential is that the servants of shadow walk on two legs while the brazen beasts walk upon four or more. For example, a servant of shadow would be an orc, a balrog, or a black Numenorian, while a brazen beast, on the other hand, could be a warg, a dragon, or say even the watcher in the water. All of these are brazen beasts. Because there are so many wicked creatures, evil beasts, and dark places in Tolkien's world, I decided to create three main categories to define and list each of them. The dark domains, the servants of shadow, and the brazen beasts of Middle-earth. With the ever-expanding mythology of Tolkien's fantasy world, through movies, streaming TV, and games, there now seems to be an ever-growing list of servants, creatures, and places to keep track of. The brazen beasts of Middle-earth come in two distinct categories. First, we have normal animals that have fallen under the sway of the Dark Lord's power, such as the black steeds of the Nazgul, the great Mumakil of Harad, with their tall war towers. These beasts are not inherently evil, but are impelled by the will of Sauron to do his bidding. On the other hand, we have sentient beings such as the spiders of Mirkwood, the wargs of the Misty Mountains, and the great winged dragons, who are able to speak and reason with an intelligent mind. These creatures come down through a direct line that stretches back to Morgoth and the dens of Entumno and Angband. Creatures imbued with his dark power and bred with foul craft to be used in the wars against the Valar in the West. Even unto the Third Age of Middle-earth, these creatures roam the dark byways under the cover of darkness. Ever apt to evil, these monstrous creatures were drawn to the will of Sauron when he rose to power once more. In the dungeons and holding pens of Barad-dûr, Sauron fed them foul meats and made them into unnatural creatures wreathed in dark sorcery. 
Professor Tolkien gave these unnatural creatures the power of speech primarily in The Hobbit. Gandalf was able to understand the speech of the wild wargs that surrounded Bilbo and the dwarves in the pine forest. In addition, Bilbo was able to understand the speech of the spiders of Mirkwood, though it sounded like creaking and hissing to his ear. Finally, we have Smaug, who communicated with a monstrous intelligence and cunning. However, in The Lord of the Rings, Tolkien avoided the use of language in the beasts of Middle-earth except for the great eagles, who also had the ability of speech in the more whimsical The Hobbit tale. The only other creature who exhibited intelligence in The Lord of the Rings was Shelob. Though it is not certain how she communicated, we do know that Gollum and Shelob did have some form of discourse. Okay, as a new category here in the Land of Shadow YouTube channel, the Brazen Beasts will get their own playlist, just as the Servants of Shadow and the Dark Domains have theirs. So whenever we're adding new uh, content for the Brazen Beasts of Middle-earth, they'll fall into that single playlist. As I said earlier, you guys will get to choose which Brazen Beast is premiered first on the Land of Shadow. Here are at least three choices to vote on. 1. The Black Steeds of Mordor Used by the Nazgul and other messengers that came and went from Barad-dûr. 2. The Wargs of the Misty Mountains who guarded the lands along the Misty mountains, and finally, number three, the spiders of Mirkwood, who spun their black webs and fed off the unsuspecting travelers through the dark forest. Okay, so which one will it be? Post your choice in the comment section below, and whichever one gets the most votes will be the first Brazen Beast video, because you guys get to decide. I will soon be adding our first video on these dark creatures here in the Land of Shadow channel because these are the brazen beasts of Middle Earth that roam now only in the written histories of ages past. Well, everyone, I think that wraps up today's Shadowcast. In the coming days and weeks, I will be adding more and more of the brazen beasts of Middle-earth here on our YouTube channel. So, until next time, I hope to see you climbing over the Red Horn Gate amid the cruel peaks of Karakas.